Why am I right for your company? Am I have the right cultural fit? Does the shoe fit? Those are three questions that are asked of candidates who are pitching in for their suitability. Yes, I do believe I am right. And allow me to explain why. I'm passionate about sharing my experiences, about my knowledge and my ideas, and to inspire and to empower business leaders to transform their environment. And you're probably thinking, well, how can you do that? Because let's face it, there are a lot of people out there who are coaches, who are mentors, who are advisors. So what makes me different? Well, there's six areas I'm gonna to touch upon today. My background, my experience, my, my company story, the company I used to run, the adversity, I'm gonna explain what happened, the impact, professionally and personally, and then, I love this part, my bounce back. So, my background, I was born in London. And I was born to a Muslim entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial family. I grew up in the Middle East, and I was educated in Boston, United States, and I had a wonderful three years there. When I came back from Boston, I went straight into the family business. And there was a recession in the UK, so we were just starting off this business. And this business was in the UK food sector um, division. And I helped establish the business and grew that, that company into a market leader into a business that eventually turned over 42 million. It started in my mother's garage, and we were, we were on the crest of a wave right through the 27 years of the life of that business. But like all things, and all good things, they all have to come to an end. We ran into trouble in 2016, and and that's mainly because of uh, Brexit. 2017 then brought the general election, caused more uncertainty. Then we had a vicious cyber attack that really debilitated the business. It ripped the heart out of the business and we lost all control of the company. And that had a huge impact on the staff, on customers, and on relationships. We had to manage and watch our company, our life work slide away in six months. And I had some very difficult conversations with some of my very close friends who were my customers. I had to manage the expectation of staff and I had to let them go. Some of these guys were there for, with me for 25 years. And then there was a relationship with the family, my siblings. And thankfully, we still talk to each other. But my God, that was so strained. The impact on the family was immense. Financial impact, you can imagine. Today, we're still reading from that. I'm in an IBA, for example. Two of my siblings are bankrupt. The professional impact, I hadn't worked for another business for a very long time, so I had to really think hard on what I was going to do. And then there's the emotional, the emotional impact of the dark days that I lived during 2019 and how was I supposed to come back from that. And that's really what I want to talk about, my bounce back. 
I had decided that I'm not going to be beaten and that I decided that I was going to actually retrain myself. So I, 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 I spent time investing in NLP courses and ILM coaching courses. I went and worked for a charity and helped them develop different strategies for donor experience and sales and marketing. And then I did a number of NED roles to allow me to understand the corporate board uh, environment and to be able, for me, to be able to add value to them. So today I'm standing in front of you in complete belief that I am well placed to add value to your board, to your business, and to those leaders. I would say that I am that asset that you need in your business today. And let me leave you with a quote from one of my favorite personalities, Nelson Mandela. Failure is not losing. Failure is either winning or it's learning. I thank you for your attention. I thank you for your time. Thank you very much.